The Vikings, seafaring Norse people from Scandinavia, were a formidable cultural force across Europe from the 7th to the 11th century. Their origins trace back to a mix of Northern European genetic roots, with studies showing that they were closely related to other Germanic groups, but had genetic diversity from interactions with British, Baltic, and even finno uber speakers. Some Vikings from Sweden, for instance, showed genetic markers linking them to the Eastern Baltic region, while those from Denmark and Norway intermingled with populations in the British Isles and beyond. Viking culture was characterized by a fierce warrior ethos, yet it also valued craftsmanship, trade, and exploration. They constructed robust, wooden longhouses for family dwellings and intricate stave churches as places of worship, particularly after their conversion to Christianity. Viking architecture emphasized practicality, using timber from their forested homelands and sometimes stone. Their language, Old Norse, was written using the runic alphabet, with the younger Futhark being the primary script during the Viking Age. The Vikings' beliefs were centered on a polytheistic system with gods such as Odin, Thor, and Freya, embodying various aspects of nature, war, and fertility. These beliefs persisted alongside Christianity as the Vikings began converting around the 10th century. The Vikings left a lasting influence on European monarchies, notably through the establishment of the Norman dynasty in England, which traced its roots to Viking chieftains in Normandy. Their descendants in Normandy would go on to conquer England in 1066 under William the Conqueror, infusing Norse legal concepts, cultural practices, and language into the Anglo-Saxon framework of England. The legacy of the Vikings endures not only in European royal lineages, but also in the linguistic, cultural, and societal structures of the regions they once dominated. The Russian royal family, French royal family, and English royal family all had Viking roots. For this video, I gathered the raw DNA of 21 academic Viking age samples from Nordland and Oxford. I ran the samples through my trait predictor tool for DNA analysis. You can purchase both the samples as well as my trait predictor tool. The links to purchase will be in the description. 15 of the 21 samples were male, and 14 out of 15 carried Y lineage I1, which is a lineage common in modern North Germanics. One person carried a North Germanic subclade of R1A, R1A Z284. The most common predicted phenotype was Hallstatt, and almost every sample was predicted to exhibit a Nordic phenotype. In fact, out of 21 samples, only two samples were predicted to have a non-Nordic phenotype, with one sample scoring Uralid and one sample scoring Mediterranean. Coincidentally, both those samples were also outliers in pigmentation, scoring hazel eye color, which is very uncommon for the group as a whole. Here is a more for the average phenotype. The most common eye color among the 21 samples was blue by far, with a minority of samples having green eyes, blue eyes with an amber center, and two samples having hazel eyes. No samples had brown or dark brown eye color. The most common hair color by far was dark blonde with 17 samples scoring dark blonde as their predicted hair color. Three samples were predicted to have light brown hair, and one sample was predicted to have dark brown hair. The most common skin color among the 21 samples was by far white. Only two samples were exception to this rule, scoring olive as their predicted skin tone. No samples scored palest, light brown, or dark brown skin tone. The most common predicted hair texture among the samples was wavy, with 11 samples scoring this as their predicted hair texture. The second most common hair texture was straight, which six people had. Finally, for people were predicted to have curly hair. No sample scored kinky hair as their predicted hair texture. Regarding nose shape, snub nose shape was slightly more common than Greek nose shape among the group. 12 samples were predicted to have a snub nose shape, and 9 samples were predicted to have a Greek nose shape. The samples had a high predisposition to male pattern baldness, with the majority of the samples scoring high odds of male pattern baldness. The majority of the samples were of above average height, with 6 samples being predicted to be shorter and 15 samples taller than average. The samples had a strong predisposition to hemoglobin E disease, with 15 samples carrying risk variants for this condition. One sample out of 21 carried risk variants for hemochromatosis. The samples had some protection from cardiovascular issues. The samples had lower odds of ADHD. 
The samples had a predisposition to lowered odds of unipolar depression, a condition that is nonetheless common in the Nordic countries. The Viking sampled had a strong predisposition to the warrior phenotype, which leads to poorer performance under stress and higher dopamine levels. The Viking samples had a strong predisposition to fewer number of D2 receptor sites, which leads to higher propensity for no-go learning and lowered odds for such conditions as schizophrenia or bipolar disorder. Speaking of bipolar disorder, the Vikings had a low predisposition to bipolar 1. The 21 Viking samples had a very strong predisposition to autism. 18 out of 21 samples were predicted to be lactase persistent. The Vikings were predisposed to an average level of empathy on the basis of OXDR genotypes. Regarding athleticism, the frequency of the sprinter allele in ACTN3s are 577x and Vikings was roughly approximate to that of European average, but slightly higher, reflecting a predisposition to athleticism. The samples had an average predisposition to epithelial cancers on the basis of 8Q24 genotypes. The Vikings had a roughly average predisposition to autoimmune disease on the basis of HLA genotypes. However, they were strongly predisposed to certain autoimmune conditions known to disproportionately affect Northern Europeans. 8 out of 21 samples were HLA DRB1 carriers for multiple sclerosis risk variants. The Vikings also had a strong predisposition to type 1 diabetes. The Viking samples had a strong predisposition to lowered odds of obesity. The Viking samples had an average predisposition to syncope. The Viking samples had a predisposition to average telomere lengths, predisposing them to intermediate length of biological lifespan. The Viking samples had roughly average predicted levels of blood glucose. The Vikings were predisposed to a significantly elevated level of LDL cholesterol in blood, possibly counteracting their reduced predisposition to cardiovascular risk. The Vikings were predisposed to an elevated vitamin D level. The Vikings had all blood types, including O, A, B, and AB, but the most common blood types among the 21 samples were A and O. Thank you for watching my video until the end. Make sure to leave a like and share if you enjoyed it.